Hi everyone, today I'm here at my campsite. Sorry that it's a bit dark, but it, it, I got here a bit late. Um, I'm going to be camping in the bivvy bag that I got for my birthday. My birthday was about a month ago, in Octo October the 22nd. Just not had time to come out camping, so I'm going to be using the bivvy bag that I got. I've just got it all in my bag here. The one that I got is the, where's the name, Snug Pack one, probably a bit hard to see. Snug Pack Stratosphere, is it? Snug Pack Stratosphere, I'm going to be doing a bit of a review on this at some point. But for, but for now, I'm going to get it put up. Again, I'm sorry for that it's a bit dark, but that's a shelter that I've just been making. And I'm going to be camping over here next to that shelter there. But I'm going to be camping just down here. I'm going to move a few of the leaves away. And I'm going to get on with it.
and that is it <laughs> up didn't take too long I could probably get it done a bit faster with a bit of practice but that's my shelter put up hi everyone so I've just woken up um, I didn't film much last night because it was dark and I didn't want to film too much all I did though was I went to bed and then I'm gonna go over it a little bit but I'm not gonna go over it fully because I'm gonna do a review on it at some point so I'm just gonna go over the bivy bag for you and I'm gonna have my breakfast So now that I've finished my breakfast, I'm going to show you a few of the features of the Snug Pack Stratosphere. As you can see, it's a hooped bivy bag. Um, the poles are colour coded. This one's got a green end to it, a little green tab there. And there's a bug net. If I just take this off under there and that can be rolled up 
if you if you're in warm weather I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm going to do a review at some point so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack away and head off home.